off your clothes. More roses. Put this on. What is he doing? Let's keep going. Light the candle. Just a moment. Where is this leading? Oh my god. Pour a glass. Yes. We've been together two years. You are the girl of my dreams. Oh my god. I want to take the next step and ask you a huge question. Follow the roses. Babe, what is this? Open me. Will you do my laundry? All of this for this? Hey, hold on. Open it up. For the rest of our lives. That's what bring in there. What do you mean? This is real? Yeah. What do you mean? Yes! yes. <laughs> we need to take men's jokes seriously. That man's not kidding. He wants her to do his laundry for the rest of his life. Oh, and just to make you go along with it, here's a ring. I, like, do you understand? I mean, her first reaction to that seemingly very romantic proposal was all of this for this? You nailed it. That's the point. All of that, all of that, the rose petals, the, the, the slip, the, ugh, the wine, all the notes, all of that to, to humiliate you. And you know, the worst part about all of this is that that isn't even one of these vows, you know, like a lot of women are humiliated in front of their family and their friends at their wedding because of these jokes that men play right? The vows that are like, I hate you, but I'm doing this anyway, or the vows that are like, or like holding up a help me sign or the cake smash. Those men hate you. Remember they hate you. They're pissed that they had to marry you, but they're doing it because they don't know how else to get all that free labor, right? Resent the hell out of you that you are now attached to them when they don't want you. They want what you can do for them and they want free access to your body. Okay. Social capital that comes with being attached to you. But the worst part about this is that she was not surprised on her wedding day where a photographer captured that and then uploaded it on social media. She put that on social media. She's so excited to get married. It doesn't matter that this man humiliated her in her proposal. A thing that's supposed to be very romantic. A thing that so many women can't wait for that moment. And he does it with a laundry machine, washing machine, whatever you call it. You see, I don't even know what you call them because that's how much I don't care about domestic labor. I, please stop doing wifey stuff when you're his girlfriend. In fact, even though I am a wife now, I still don't do that crap. <laughs> I do my own laundry. I have never cooked us a meal, ever. Partly because I can't cook and I don't want to learn. But there's, I'm a stubborn witch, y'all. I'm not doing things just because I'm supposed to do those things. And the thing is, is that when you are dating somebody, you are not auditioning, okay? You are not auditioning for the role of wife. You are the one who also gets to decide, not him. This idea that like, oh, I'll do all this stuff to prove to him. And if not even just to him, to even his, his mother. You're trying to audition for the family. Stop it. That is waiting to be picked. I'm sorry, but because of patriarchy, you are going to lose if you attach yourself to a man who sees himself as the prize and you just somebody there to support him. He's the, he's the main character, baby. You are auditioning to be supporting actress or not even. You're auditioning to be like an extra and also the producer, right? Because that's the thing about producers. This is why women make amazing producers in the film industry because they're the ones who take care of everything. And they're like the silent partner. Is that what you want? You want to be a silent partner in your marriage? Because that's what's going to happen. That is not cute. These men are telling on themselves. Before, we thought we were crazy. We thought like, is it, I feel like he doesn't appreciate me or see me as a human being or doesn't even know me. No, you know, and then we'll tell each other, no, 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 no. We think men are just so complicated. No, they're just lying, they're just manipulating. They're just, you know, they've been tricking us, gaslighting us. And now they're so dumb. They're admitting this stuff out loud. And we're finally listening. Pay attention. A man who chooses to make your proposal, which he gets one shot at, into a joke about you doing his laundry for the rest of his life. You are not a partner. You are a producer and a background actor at most. But this is his movie. He's writing the script. He's calling the shots. And you're just there to make sure it all goes smoothly and make sure his laundry looks good while he does so. And then he's going to cheat on you anyway and leave you with a bunch of kids. <laughs> Pay attention to their jokes. They're never jokes, y'all. They're telling on themselves every time.